Group one over the round mile. And they're away. Uh, which is her jumping out well to the outside of stable mate Royal Dornock. Right up the inside is the other O'Brien runner, Arizona, in the dark blue jacket. Uh, they are tracked then by Positive and Threat. Pinatubo is settled towards the back along with Palace Pier. And Wichita is out wide of Royal Dornock, who's under restraint. And then Arizona now driving up the rail. Threat goes handy. Maybe a little muddling through the first quarter mile here. Positive with Palace Pier out wide. And Pinatubo is the back marker. Racing on towards the five furlong point from the finish. And the Guineas runner-up, Wichita, the leader from Royal Dornock. Threat on the outside. Arizona hard against the inside running rail. And they're followed by Palace Pier in the silver silks. Positive in the blue and white striped cap just ahead of Palace Pier. And the last one is still is last season's champion two-year-old Pinatubo. They're running now inside the final half mile and into the final bend and Wichita leads the way. Threat now poised to mount a challenge on the outside. Followed then in between runners by Positive Arizona. The inside Royal Dornock, Palace Pier and in behind runners still in that all blue jacket is William Buick on Pinatubo. He's now just angled out for a run down the home straight. Wichita taken on by Threat who comes there strongly but look at Pinatubo and Palace Pier. These two are galloping into contention now as they stretch on towards the final furlong. Wichita has ridden hard. Pinatubo challenging. Palace Pier on the outside. It's just Pinatubo. Palace Pier though is still attacking. Wichita is rallying on the far side. A three-way go in the St. James's Palace and Palace Pier is getting up in the last few strides and Palace Pier wins. Ran down Wichita and Pinatubo. They two, those two fighting it out for second. Well clear of threat and then positive Arizona and at the back was Royal